Can you walk us through exactly what it took to turn this landscaping into that living fire barrier you were telling Craig about? Well, Vicki, first and foremost, homeowners need to be aware of the fact that state law actually requires them to install and maintain defensible space. Now that's removing all flammable vegetation within 100 feet of structures on their property. This is a platform from where firefighters can work during a wildfire. This defensible space is the backbone of a fire safe landscape. Does that mean having a bare ring of dirt around the house or what? Not at all. What you really want to do is create a green belt of irrigated, low growing, fire resistant plants. And lucky for us, there are plenty of options to choose from here in California. So tell us a little bit about how this particular project unfolded. Well, originally, their landscaping was an accident waiting to happen. It was completely overgrown with what we call ladder fuels, or in other words, untrimmed, overgrown plants that would have helped any fire climb up from the ground, into the trees, and eventually over to the house. Once that area was cleared, the first task was to develop a fire-safe landscaping plan, which required installing an irrigation system. What kind of plants did they select? They put in plants that are low-growing. They don't generate very many dead leaves or dry branches that could serve as fuel for a wildfire. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, and I've also noticed they're well-spaced. They are, and you know that's good practice no matter how old your landscaping is. You also want to make sure that your plants are well-trimmed and litter-free.